Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review and here we're looking at the brand new offering from Thomas Earnshaw and this is the Bauer Shadow. Now this has a quite simply uh, ridiculous RRP of £490 but don't worry because you will never actually pay that much because first of all it's, it's available elsewhere for a lot cheaper and uh, there's always offers uh, or uh, discount codes going on for Thomas Earnshaw watches. So. Whilst that's the RIP, that will never be the, the the true price of it. Realistically, I'd probably say you'd be able to get it for you know two two hundred pounds to three hundred pounds. So this is the Bauer Shadow, which is um, in my opinion one of their nicest watches I've uh, seen. To be honest, um, obviously as you can see, it's a it's a mechanical uh, skeleton, uh, completely hand wind movement uh, as well. So uh, it does look the part. Let's look. Let's discuss it in closer detail. So um, I'll just put it on and show it you on my 17 and a quarter inch wrist. Uh, we have a diameter of 42 mil, a lug to lug length of 50 mil, and a height of uh, 11 and a half mil. We also have a weight of 68 grams. So considering it's a dress watch, you know, it's, it's, it's a decent size, has a lot of uh, presence, wrist presence, but it's also quite lightweight, so it's quite comfortable uh, whilst you're wearing it. Uh, you know you can you can get away with wearing it for for a while uh, we have a 50 meters water resistance uh two year warranty uh 22 mil width lugs and then uh, the movement now there's no mention of the movement whatsoever but i believe i think i've seen this kind of movement before and i think it's just the um the asian equivalent of the eta 6497 movement but just their decorated version I have seen this in a number of like um, homages, um, for instance, like the the Panerai homage, um, and um, yeah, it's it's a it's a sturdy, good uh, movement which looks the part. Um, I believe it's also a mineral crystal, so there's no detail on that either. But my uh, my gut instinct from the feel of it and from the looks of it, it's mineral, which is a shame considering the RRP is four hundred and seventy pounds. Okay, so uh, let's discuss it in closer detail. So the uh, the dial itself, as you can see, we have this uh, like misty, opaquey kind of feel to it, which is, in my eyes, is is really quite um, a nice touch. I don't think I've seen uh, anything quite like this before. Um, obviously, the uh, the skeletonized uh, movement really helps it along, but it's um, it's a very nice touch, and it does uh, it is quite striking. It's also one of the best finished. Uh, dials that I've seen from them as well. So all these elements are all uh, applied. The E double E logo and the uh, the hour markers. They're all very thick, well uh, well um, constructed, uh, and we have a, a six in Roman numerals at the at the bottom there. So that's all quite uh, impressive. Uh, the logo. Let me have a close look. Is ever so slightly applied, but really f flat. So you know nothing too impressive. The hands, nice Dauphine hands uh, as well, uh, look the part, they're nice and thick, got a good decent pitch on them, nice and long as well. So um, from a design point of view, and also from the construction of the dial, it's actually really impressive, and I've been quite impressed um, by it, and I've been really happy wearing it as well. Uh, moving on to the case then, um, it's probably one of the bits where it falls short a little bit, because it is primarily polished, but as you can see, with the reflections, it's not, it doesn't f look or feel quite that, you know, warranting of, of almost 500 pounds. It's probably where it, it falls short a little bit, the, the polishing here. It doesn't quite look or feel as high quality as it, as it could be. Uh, it has brush tops and they look fine. Uh, we also have a, um, a rose gold plated uh, bezel, which is a nice touch as well. So that matches the rose gold elements on the dial and we have the Earnshaw logo deeply uh, engraved on the side which is a, a nice touch nice big fat onion crown this side as well so that's um, that's completely polished obviously it's a hand wind only watch so you're using that quite a lot to wind it up gives really good feedback good grip as well to uh, to do the uh, the winding there uh, case back again a, a mineral cri uh, crystal on the case back um, polished uh, ridging to that as well and uh, obviously 
primarily is it, the case back is just a, an exhibition to the um, to the nice movement um, inside. We have some various specifics uh, on the the underside printed on the underside, uh, so you can't see it too well. But if you get it at just the right angle, you can see those details. So moving on to the strap, uh, another thing which isn't as good as it could be. Um, the leather feels a little bit cheap. It's a bit stiff. It's not the com most comfortable. Uh, you can see on the underside, it's, it just doesn't look as nice as uh, you know as one would expect for for a watch costing this much. RRP anyway. And then we have an Earnshaw engraved on the buckle in the shape of an E. If you can see that. So we have an E there. Um, I've seen this a number of times on all of the Earnshaws. It's a nice idea, but in reality, it's not that practical. Uh, it's a bit awkward to use, but also that thick bar there, because all of the stress is put on a smaller area on the leather, you end up getting a bit more wear um, just down the, the like this, cent this central um, channel down the strap. So that's a, that's a bit of a, an, an annoyance. Okay, so let's look at it in closer detail with the macro lens. So let's start off with the dial. As you can see there, we have this uh, very light application for the logo. But then as we go up here, we have a nice big thick application of the double E logo. And then the hour markers are pitched as well. So there. They're all nicely done. And then we have the six in Roman numerals at the base there. Again, so they have a nice big bit of depth to them. Let me just change the time. We can have a look at the, the hands. Got like a brushed finish to them, but they're pitched as well, as you can see. Very well uh, machined as well. So. And as you can see, we have lovely uh, detailing of the of the movement in the behind this sort of like smoke screen, as it were. You can see how opaque it is by my finger in the background there. But you can still see the detailing of the movement, which is nice. Just pull out that, set the time. You can see see the cogs whirring. Is very nice to see. I do like a good mechanical movement where you get to see all the juicy bits. Okay, uh, just give it a quick wipe again and we'll have a look at the case. So here's the crown, nice big thick onion shape as you can see, decent grip as well. That's actually really well machined. Moving on to the side of the case, we have the Earnshaw logo again nice and deeply uh, engraved and then we have this polished side which is i don't know it's, it's almost like a little bit wibbly wobbly it's not perfectly flat or anything like that um then we have the machining on top which is pretty good and we've got a nice sharp corner there at least it's just the uh, the sides where it's all polished could be a little bit better and here's the rose gold plated uh, bezel Moving on to the case back, so got some detailing printed on the underside, like so, and then of course we have the movement in all its glory. It's quite loud as well. I can hear it from here ticking away. You probably can't, obviously. Uh, but, you know, if it, if you're in a quiet room and it's on your wrist, you will be able to hear it ticking. Let's just move on to the strap then. So there's the, the top. You can tell it's, it's supposedly Italian grade leather, but um, whichever leather they used in Italy, it's not the best grain. Then looking at the underside, have Earnshaw printed at the top there. And then just look at the buckle. 
It looks like, yeah, it's laser wretched rather than engraved with the polished sides. Okay, so at full RRP, I would not recommend it. Um, 470 pounds is ridiculous, it's way too much, and you could even get Swiss made, uh, um, Swiss made um, skeletonized watches for that much, uh, which would obviously be a whole lot better. But if you were to get it, I would probably say a good decent price would be would be around the 200, 250 pound mark. If you could get it for that much, then I would recommend it because it is, despite the flaws, it is a very nice watch. And, you know, if you get it at a cheap enough pi price, you can overlook those flaws. Flaws being um, they're not quite so perfect, uh, polished uh, finish to it, the leather strap as well. Um, and the fact that I don't believe it's a sapphire crystal. I'll, you know, I can I can ask again, see if they respond. Um, but um, looks wise, it looks excellent. I really, really like the uh, the design of it. The um, like the opaque smoked uh, base of the dial is a really nice touch, um, and uh, just the the general finishing of the dial is actually much better than I was anticipating. Uh, so yeah, it, it definitely looks the part. It looks impressive on the wrist, uh, but uh, you know, as long as you get it for the slightly cheaper. Uh, cheaper price then uh, I'm sure you'll be happy with it okay so this was the Thomas Earnshaw Bauer Shadow and that's what she's all about